In vector calculus, the curl is a vector operator that describes the infinitesimal rotation of a vector field in three-dimensional Euclidean space. At every point in the field, the curl of that point is represented by a vector. The attributes of this vector length and direction characterize the rotation at that point. The direction of the curl is the axis of rotation, as determined by the right-hand rule, and the magnitude of the curl is the magnitude of rotation. If the vector field represents the flow velocity of a moving fluid, then the curl is the circulation density of the fluid. A vector field whose curl is zero is called a rotational. The curl is a form of differentiation for vector fields. The corresponding form of the fundamental theorem of calculus is Stokes' theorem, which relates the surface integral of the curl of a vector field to the line integral of the vector field around the boundary curve. The alternative terminology rotor, rotation or rotational and alternative notations rot f and times f are often used the former especially in many European countries, the latter, using the del or nabla operator and the cross product, is more used in other countries for curl f in a context where the cross product is denoted with the wedge symbol, f would be used, unlike the gradient and divergence, curl does not generalize as simply to other other dimensions. Some generalizations are possible, but only in three dimensions is the geometrically defined curl of a vector field again a vector field. This is a phenomenon similar to the three dimensional cross product, and the connection is reflected in the notation times for the curl. The name, curl, was first suggested by James Clerk Maxwell in 1871 but the concept was apparently first used in the construction of an optical field theory by James McCullough in 1839. <laughs> <laughs> Definition The curl of a vector field f, denoted by curl f, or times f, or rot f, at a point is defined in terms of its projection onto various lines through the point. If n is any unit vector, the projection of the curl of f onto n, is defined to be the limiting value of a closed line integral in a plane orthogonal to n, divided by the area enclosed, as the path of integration is contracted around the point. The curl operator maps continuously differentiable functions f, 3 3 to continuous functions g, 3 3, and more generally, it maps ck functions in 3 to ck 1 functions in 3. Implicitly, curl is defined by times f n equals d e f lim a 0 1 a c f d a Display style nabla times math bf f c d o t math bf hat n overset underset mathrm def equals lim underscore a to zero left frac one a oint underscore c math bf f c d o t d math bf r right where c f doctor is a line integral along the boundary of the area in question and a is the magnitude of the area. If n is the unit vector perpendicular to the plane, whereas n is an outward pointing in plane normal, see caption at right, then the orientation of c is chosen so that a tangent vector o to c is positively oriented if and only if n n o forms a positively oriented basis for three right hand rule. The above formula means that the curl of a vector field is defined as the infinitesimal area density of the circulation of that field. To this definition fit naturally. The Kelvin–Stokes theorem, as a global formula corresponding to the definition, and the following easy to memorize 
definition of the curl in curvilinear orthogonal coordinates, e.g. In Cartesian coordinates, spherical, cylindrical, or even elliptical or parabolic coordinates curl f 1 equals 1 h 2 h 3 h 3 f 3 u 2 minus h 2 f 2 u 3 curl f 2 equals 1 h 3 h 1 h 1 F one U three minus H three F three U one curl F three equals one H one H two H two F two U one minus H one F one U two display style begin aligned and operator name curl math BF F underscore one equals frac one H underscore two H underscore three left frac partial H underscore three F underscore three partial U underscore two frac partial H underscore two F underscore two partial U underscore three right five PT and Operator name curl math BF F underscore two equals frac one H underscore three H underscore one left frac partial H underscore one F underscore one partial U underscore three frac partial H underscore three F underscore three partial U underscore one right five PT and operator name curl math BF F underscore three equals frac one H underscore one H underscore two left frac partial H underscore two F underscore two partial U underscore one frac partial H underscore one F underscore one partial U underscore two right end aligned the equation for each component curl F K can be obtained by exchanging each occurrence of a subscript one two three in cyclic permutation one two two three and three one where the sub Subscripts represent the relevant indices. If x1, x2, x3 are the Cartesian coordinates and u1, u2, u3 are the orthogonal coordinates, then h i equals x1 u i 2 plus x 2 u i 2 plus x 3 u i 2 Display style H underscore I equals SQRT left frac partial X underscore one partial U underscore I right carrot two plus left frac partial X underscore two partial U underscore I right carrot two plus left frac partial X underscore three partial U underscore I right carrot two is the length of the coordinate vector corresponding to UI. The remaining two components of curl result from cyclic permutation of indices, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1.
Topic: <laughs> Intuitive interpretation. Suppose the vector field describes the velocity field of a fluid flow such as a large tank of liquid or gas and a small ball is located within the fluid or gas the center of the ball being fixed at a certain point. If the ball has a rough surface, the fluid flowing past it will make it rotate. The rotation axis oriented according to the right -hand rule points in the direction of the curl of the field at the center of the ball, and the angular speed of the rotation is half the magnitude of the curl at this point. The curl of the vector at any point is given by the rotation of an infinitesimal area in the xy plane for z axis component of the curl, zx plane for y axis component of the curl, and yz plane for x axis component of the curl vector. This can be clearly seen in the examples below. Usage In practice, the above definition is rarely used because in virtually all cases, the curl operator can be applied using some set of curvilinear coordinates, for which simpler representations have been derived. The notation times f has its origins in the similarities to the three-dimensional cross product, and it is useful as a mnemonic in Cartesian coordinates if is taken as a vector differential operator del. Such notation involving operators is common in physics and algebra. Expanded in three-dimensional Cartesian coordinates see del in cylindrical and spherical coordinates for spherical and cylindrical coordinate representations, times f is, for f composed of fx, fy, fz, ij, kx, y, z, fx, fy, fz, display style begin v matrix math bf i and math bf j and math bf k 5 pt dfrac partial partial x and and dfrac partial partial y and dfrac partial partial z 10 pt f underscore x and f underscore y and f underscore z end v matrix where i j and k are the unit vectors for the x y and z axes respectively. This expands as follows: f z y minus f y z i plus f x z minus f z x j plus f y X minus F X Y K equals F Z Y minus F Y Z F X Z Minus F Z X F Y X minus F X Y Display style left frac partial f underscore z partial y frac partial f underscore y partial z right math bf i plus left frac partial f underscore x partial z frac partial f underscore z partial x right math bf j plus left frac partial f underscore y partial x frac partial f underscore x partial y right math bf k e 
equals begin B matrix frac partial F underscore Z partial Y frac partial F underscore Y partial Z frac partial F underscore X partial Z frac partial F underscore Z partial X frac partial F underscore Y partial X frac partial F underscore X partial Y end B matrix Although expressed in terms of coordinates, the result is invariant under proper rotations of the coordinate axes but the result inverts under reflection. In a general coordinate system, the curl is given by times f k equals epsilon k m f M display style nabla times math bff caret k equals var epsilon caret k l m nabla underscore l f underscore m, where epsilon denotes the Levi Civita tensor and the covariant derivative. The metric tensor is used to lower the index on f, and the Einstein summation convention implies that repeated indices are summed over. Equivalently. Times F equals E K Epsilon K M L F M Display style nabla times math bf f equals math bf e underscore k var epsilon carrot k l m nabla underscore l f underscore m, where eka the coordinate vector fields. Equivalently, using the exterior derivative, the curl can be expressed as times f equals d f flat sharp display style nabla times math bf f equals left star big mathrm d f caret flat big right caret sharp here flat and sharp are the musical isomorphisms and is the hodge star operator this formula shows how to calculate the curl of f in any coordinate system, and how to extend the curl to any oriented three-dimensional Riemannian manifold. Since this depends on a choice of orientation, curl is a chiral operation. In other words, if the orientation is reversed, then the direction of the curl is also reversed. Topic Examples Topic Example One Take the vector field F X Y Z equals Y X Carrot minus x y carrot display style math bf f x y z equals y bold symbol hat x x bold symbol hat y. Its corresponding plot. Upon visual inspection, the field can be described as rotating. If a stationary object were to be placed in the field with the vectors representing a linear force, the object would rotate clockwise. Calculating the curl times f equals zero x caret plus zero y carrot plus x minus x minus y y z carrot equals minus 2 z k 
carrot display style nabla times math bf f equals 0 bold symbol hat x plus o bold symbol hat y plus left frac partial partial x x frac partial partial y y right bold symbol hat z equals minus 2 bold symbol hat z the resulting vector field describing the curl would be uniformly going in the negative z direction it should be noted that the results of this equation align with what could have been predicted using the right-hand rule using a right-handed coordinate system. Being a uniform vector field, the object described before would have the same rotational intensity regardless of where it was placed. The plot describing the curl of F Example 2 Take the vector field F X Y Z equals minus X two Y carrot Display style Math BF F X Y Z equals X carrot two bold symbol hat Y its corresponding plot. Upon initial inspection, curl existing in this graph would not be obvious. However, taking the object in the previous example, and placing it anywhere on the line x <laughs> 3, the force exerted on the right side would be slightly greater than the force exerted on the left, causing it to rotate clockwise. Using the right-hand rule, it can be predicted that the resulting curl would be straight in the negative z direction. Inversely, if placed on x minus 3, the object would rotate counterclockwise and the right-hand rule would result in a positive z direction. Calculating the curl times f equals 0 x carrot plus 0 y carrot plus x minus x 2 z carrot equals minus 2 x z carrot Display style nabla times math bf f equals zero bold symbol hat x plus o bold symbol hat y plus frac partial partial x x carrot two bold symbol hat z equals two x bold symbol hat z as predicted, the curl points in the negative z direction when x is positive and vice versa. In this field, the intensity of rotation would be greater as the object moves away from the plane x equals zero. The plot describing the curl of F <laughs> Identities In general curvilinear coordinates not only in Cartesian coordinates, the curl of a cross product of vector fields V and F can be shown to be times V times F equals F plus F V minus V plus v f 
Display style nabla times left math BF V times F right equals big left math BF nabla CDOTF right plus math BF F CDOT nabla big math BF V big left math BF nabla CDOT V right plus math BF V CDOT nabla big math BF F Interchanging the vector field V and operator, we arrive at the cross product of a vector field with curl of a vector field V times times F equals F V F minus V F Display style Math BF V times left Math BF Nabla times F right equals Nabla underscore Math BF F left Math BF V C D O T F right left Math BF V C D O T Nabla right Math BF F where f is the Feynman subscript notation, which considers only the variation due to the vector field f i.e., in this case, v is treated as being constant in space. Another example is the curl of a curl of a vector field. It can be shown that in general coordinates times times f equals f Minus two F Display style Nabla times left Math BF Nabla times F right equals Math BF Nabla Math BF Nabla C D O T F Nabla carrot two Math BF F And this identity defines the vector Laplacian of F, symbolized as two F. The curl of the gradient of any scalar field phi is always the zero vector field. Times phi equals zero. Display style nabla times nabla var phi equals bold symbol zero, which follows from the anti-symmetry in the definition of the curl and the symmetry of second derivatives. If phi is a scalar valued function and f is a vector field then times phi f equals phi times f plus phi times f Display style nabla times varphi math bf f equals nabla varphi times math bf f plus varphi nabla times math bf f. Topic: Descriptive examples. In a vector field describing the linear velocities of each part of a rotating disk, the curl has the same value at all points. Of the four Maxwell's equations, two Faraday's law and Ampere's law can be compactly expressed using curl. Faraday's law states that the curl of an electric field is equal to the opposite of the time rate of change of the magnetic field, while Ampere's law relates the curl of the magnetic field to the current and rate of change of the electric field. <laughs> Generalizations The vector calculus operations of grad, curl, and div are most easily generalized and understood in the context of differential forms, which involves a number of steps. In a nutshell, they correspond to the derivatives of zero forms, one forms, and two forms, respectively. The geometric interpretation of curl as rotation corresponds to identifying bivectors two vectors in three dimensions with the special orthogonal Lie algebra. S O Display style math frac so 
3 of infinitesimal rotations in coordinates skew symmetric 3 times 3 matrices while representing rotations by vectors corresponds to identifying one vectors equivalently two vectors and s o display style math frac so 3 these all being three dimensional spaces Topic: Differential forms. In three dimensions, a differential zero form is simply a function f x y z. A differential one form is the following expression: a one d x plus a two d Y plus a three D Z display style are underscore one DX plus a underscore two DY plus a underscore three DZ. A differential two form is the formal sum a twelve D X D Y plus a thirteen D X D Z plus a twenty three D Y D Z Display style are underscore twelve DX wedge DY plus A underscore thirteen DX wedge DZ plus A underscore twenty three DY wedge DZ and a differential three form is defined by a single term one hundred and twenty three DX DY D Z display style are underscore 123 DX wedge DY wedge DZ here the coefficients are real functions the wedge products eg DX DY can be interpreted as some kind of oriented area elements DX DY equals minus DY DX etc the exterior derivative of a k form in 3 is defined as the k plus 1 form from above and in n if eg omega k equals i1 i2 i k i new element of 1 na i1 i k dx i1 dx i k display style omega caret k equals sum underscore script style i underscore 1 then the exterior derivative d leads to d omega k equals j equals 1 i 1 i k n a i 1 i k x j d x j d x i 1 d x i k display style d omega caret k equals sum underscore script style j equals 1 a top script style i underscore 1 the exterior derivative of a 1 form is therefore a 2 form and that of a 2 form is a 3 form on the other hand, because of the interchangeability of mixed derivatives, e.g., because of two x y equals two y x display style frac partial caret two partial x partial y equals frac partial caret two partial y partial x the twofold application of the exterior derivative leads to zero. Thus, denoting the space of k forms by omega k three and the exterior derivative by d one gets a sequence zero d omega zero r three d omega one r three d omega two r three d omega three r three d zero d 
display style zero overset d long right arrow omega caret zero math bf r caret three overset d long right arrow omega caret one math bf r caret three overset D long right arrow Omega carrot two Math BF R carrot three overset D long right arrow Omega carrot three Math BF R carrot three overset D long right arrow zero Here Omega K N is the space of sections of the exterior algebra Lambda K N vector bundle over N whose dimension is the binomial coefficient N K. Note that Omega K three equals zero for K greater than three or K zero one three three one zero. The one-dimensional fibers correspond to functions, and the three-dimensional fibers to vector fields, as described below. Modulo suitable identifications: the three non-trivial occurrences of the exterior derivative correspond to grad, curl, and div. Differential forms and the differential can be defined on any Euclidean space, or indeed any manifold, without any notion of a Riemannian metric. On a Riemannian manifold, or more generally pseudo-Riemannian manifold, K forms can be identified with K vector fields. K forms are K covector fields, and a pseudo-Riemannian metric gives an isomorphism between vectors and covectors, and on an oriented vector space with a non-degenerate form, an isomorphism between vectors and covectors. There is an isomorphism between K vectors and n k vectors, in particular on the tangent space of an oriented pseudo-Riemannian manifold. Thus on an oriented pseudo-Riemannian manifold, one can interchange K forms, K vector fields, N-K forms, and N-K vector fields, this is known as Hodge duality. Concretely, on 3 this is given by one forms and one vector fields, the one form acts dx plus i dy plus Arizona dz corresponds to the vector field acts i, Arizona. One forms and two forms, one replaces dx by the dual quantity dy dz i.e., omit dx, and likewise, taking care of orientation, dy corresponds to dz dx equals minus dx dz, and dz corresponds to dx dy. Thus the form ax dx plus i dy plus Arizona dz corresponds to the dual form. Arizona dx dy plus i dz dx plus ax dy dz, thus, identifying zero forms and three forms with functions, and one forms and two forms with vector fields. Grad takes a function zero form to a vector field one form. Curl takes a vector field one form to a vector field two form. Div takes a vector field two form to a function three form. On the other hand, the fact that d two equals zero corresponds to the identities times f equals zero. Display style nabla times nabla f equals zero for any function f and times v equals 0 display style nabla cdot nabla times math bf v equals 0 for any vector field v grad and div generalize to all oriented pseudo riemannian manifolds with the same geometric interpretation because the spaces of zero forms and n forms is always fiberwise one dimensional and can be identified with scalar functions while the spaces of one forms and n minus 1 forms are always fiberwise n dimensional and can be identified with vector fields Curl does not generalize in this way to four or more dimensions, or down to two or fewer dimensions. In four dimensions, the dimensions are 0, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 0, So the curl of a one-vector field, fiberwise four-dimensional, is a two-vector field, which is fiberwise six-dimensional. One has omega 
two equals I K equals one two three four A I K D X I D X K display style Omega carrot two equals sum underscore I which yields a sum of six independent terms, and cannot be identified with a one vector field. Nor can one meaningfully go from a one vector field to a two vector field to a three vector field, 4, 6, 4, as taking the differential twice yields zero. D2 equals zero. Thus, there is no curl function from vector fields to vector fields in other dimensions arising in this way. However, one can define a curl of a vector field as a two vector field in general, as described below. Topic: Curl geometrically. Two vectors correspond to the exterior power lambda 2 volts in the presence of an inner product. In coordinates, these are the skew symmetric matrices, which are geometrically considered as the special orthogonal Lie algebra. S O display style math frac so v of infinitesimal rotations this has n2 topic 1/2 n n-1 dimensions and allows one to interpret the differential of a one vector field as its infinitesimal rotations only in 3 dimensions or trivially in 0 dimensions does n One half n n minus one, which is the most elegant and common case. In two dimensions, the curl of a vector field is not a vector field but a function, as two-dimensional rotations are given by an angle, a scalar, and orientation is required to choose whether one counts clockwise or counterclockwise rotations as positive. This is not the div, but is rather perpendicular to it. In three dimensions the curl of a vector field is a vector field as is familiar in one and zero dimensions the curl of a vector field is zero, because there are no non-trivial two vectors, while in four dimensions the curl of a vector field is, geometrically, at each point an element of the six-dimensional Lie algebra. S O so Note also that the curl of a three-dimensional vector field which only depends on two coordinates say x and y is simply a vertical vector field in the z direction whose magnitude is the curl of the two-dimensional vector field, as in the examples on this page. Considering curl as a two-vector field an anti-symmetric two-tensor has been used to generalize vector calculus and associated physics to higher dimensions. Topic. See also Cross product Del Divergence Gradient Helmholtz decomposition Del in cylindrical and spherical coordinates Vorticity Notes <laughs> <laughs>